Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? You already know it's your boy Cool Money Ace, man. We here with another one. Make sure y'all hit that like and that subscribe button, man. So listen, everybody heard the post-game interview with Bron the other day, man. I'm sure because it's going around. I just saw it. It's crazy. Um, and the main thing people focusing on is when he said, he don't have much time to play left. And if you heard that, it kind of it kind of hurt real basketball fans heart because we know we've been watching Bron since he was I'm not even going to say 17, 18 because it's some people who knew him before that who got to watch him and got to watch him go crazy all his life. So to see him 40 39, 40, man, it's just crazy. Well, yeah, birthday coming up in December. Uh, it's just crazy to see, man. Like, it made me realize that they do not play when they say time flies. Because ain't no way we was just watching an 18-year-old kid in all these years just, like, come on, since 03, since 03, that's crazy, man. But, yeah, man, we seen that interview, seen the post game. Um, he's saying he don't know if he got much time left. Now, we don't know if that's just because he don't want to, you know what I'm saying? He don't want to keep going or it's just time to think about family, you know what I'm saying? Because you got to think when you go through your teens, your 20s, your 30s, and then you starting to hit your 40s, you know what I'm saying? That's where life began for most people. So we've been watching him all his life. He done gave back. He gave his life to the game of basketball. So if he was to hang it up right now, man, it's just crazy because we want to see him go through. Like, it's just going to be a sad manner. I don't care who you think the GOAT is. I don't care who you think is better than who that man gave his life to basketball bro and we've been watching him forever literally since 03 we've been watching him so that's crazy that's crazy so if he was to hang it up now we definitely don't want to see him go like he said i'm not going to disrespect the game and keep going he said he loved the game too much to disrespect it and keep going if he not playing at a high level. But it's crazy because he now, I don't know if them bones aching, but boy, he's playing at a high level still. And that's why I'd be like that conversation of who the best, who the GOAT, who is that, who is that, that, that conversation needs to come back up because of the stuff that we're seeing. Like I always tell my people, we say Jordan the GOAT because Jordan did it first. Jordan was the first person you saw where it was like, ooh, 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 little finesse. He looking different. And then you got Bron come and just for years, for years, no matter if he was losing championships here and there, look at the quality of play, the quality of basketball. That's what you got to look at, man. So it's crazy, man. Like I said, hopefully, I'll, I know me personally, I want to see him keep going. I think he could go to 45 past that if he really wanted to. If he didn't really want to cheat the game. But I hope he get his farewell tour. Uh, I hope it's like legendary farewell tour. I hope people respecting him. I know when they go back to retire them jerseys and – show everything he been through, I know it's going to be crazy, man. It's definitely going to be an emotional time because we might as well put say the GOAT when it comes down to numbers and, and accolades and everything he done did, man. So y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think, man. Y'all think it's time for him to hang it up or should he give it a few more years? Let's see. We're going to find out soon. Well, hopefully not soon, soon, but we're going to find out, man. Hit that like and that subscribe and let me know.